For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Paintbox Simply DK in Dusky Lilac. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for sewing in your ends. And for this yarn, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook, but obviously you can check the yarn band of whichever yarn you're using to get the size recommended for your crochet hook. I will leave a link in the description box below of everything for this tutorial, including the free written pattern, which you can find on my website. So take a look in the description box below for the links to that. And as always, if you like my videos, then leave me a comment, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Okay, let's get started. So you're going to begin by creating a slip knot, and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook, and we're going to start off the foundation chain in multiples of four. So that's yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. So that's four chains. You want to pause the video, work your chain to the width or the length that you want your project to be. So for example, if you're making a scarf, you would make it the width of what you're, you want your scarf to be. Pause the video, work those multiples of four, and then meet me back in just a moment. So I have just done my foundation chain and I've done 20, that is a multiple of four. So we're going to go ahead now and start with row one. So for row one, we're going to work into the second chain from the hook, so not the one that's on the hook. This is the first and then this is the second. We're going to do a double crochet. Now I'm talking in UK terms, so in the US this is known as a single crochet. So insert the hook into that second chain from the hook yarn over and pull through, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. So you're going to do that into the um, second chain from the hook, and then we're also going to do a double crochet into the next two stitches. So this is the next chain, and then the next chain. So in total, you've done three double crochets so far for row one. We're now going to do a pattern repeat, we're going to chain one, we're going to skip the next chain and then do three double crochets. One, two, and three. And we're going to repeat that again. Chain one, skip a chain, and then three double crochets. One, two, two and three. You're going to repeat that all the way along. So pause the video, work chain one, skip a stitch, three double crochets and I shall see you in just a moment. So once you've come to the end of your chain you will have finished on the three double crochets or single if you're in the US. We're now ready for row two. So we're going to chain three, one, two and three and turn the work. This chain three is going to class as your first stitch. So this is will class as a treble crochet or if you're in the US, this is known as a double crochet. So because this is classed as the first stitch, we're then going to go ahead and work a treble crochet into the next stitch. So not the one at the base of the chain three, the one across. So for the treble, we yarn over, insert into that space, Yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. And then yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. So we've just done a treble and we've got the chain three, that's, so that's two trebles. We'll then do another treble into the next stitch. And then we'll do a treble into the chain one space. And we're just simply going to do one treble into each stitch and to each chain one space all the way to the end. So go ahead, pause the video, work those trebles and meet me back in just a moment. So I have just come to the end of my work now and I've just counted my stitches. I have 19 stitches in total. So I suggest that you count the number of trebles that you have to make sure that you are continuing that throughout the work and you're not dropping any stitches but it should be one less than your starting chain. So for row three, we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn the work. This chain one does not class as a stitch. 
we're going to do our first double crochet into this very first stitch so remember that's a US um, single crochet so we'll go straight into that first stitch and do a double crochet we're then going to do what I call the forward arrow stitch so the first stitch and the last stitch of these particular rows are worked um, slightly differently to the ones that are in between so we're going to do the forward arrow stitch which is basically a double treble which is treble crochet in the US but we're going to work it into this stitch here or underneath the um, underneath the actual stitch itself so what we're going to do is we're going to yarn around the hook twice move it over to this chain one space but we're not going to go into that chain one space we're going to come under that bottom post and then come through so we've gone back to front and then yarn over pull through you'll have those four loops on the hook yarn over pull through two three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two two loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through both of those loops on the hook so we've now got that stitch and it's coming all the way over to here so this is part that's our uh, forward arrow stitch we're then going to go into the next stitch along so you might need to pull your stitch back to make sure where we're working into here so we're going to do a double crochet into that next stitch along we're going to chain one skip this stitch and then double crochet so what we're doing here as well as doing the uh, creating the arrow stitches we're also creating the basis to then complete that stitch again when we move up with the row we're now going to do an arrow stitch which is basically um, two double trebles together but we're going to work it over these um, chain spaces so you're going to yarn over the hook twice this time we're going to work into the chain one space previously so the same one that we've just worked into we're going to go under the same as we have before and through and yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two but we're going to leave these two stitches on we're then going to yarn over the hook twice again and then move over towards that chain one space the next chain one space from two rows below go under and through yarn over pull through you will have five loops on the hook yarn over pull through two four loops on the hook yarn over pull through two three loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through all three loops on the hook so you have basically double trebled those two stitches together and that is what I call the, the arrow stitch, so the full arrow stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch, so if you pull this forward, we're going to skip that stitch and then do a double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet. We're then going to repeat that arrow stitch. So it's yarn over the hook twice into the previous chain one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two leave those two, two stitches on the hook yarn over the hook twice find the next chain one space from two rows below and pull through two pull through two pull through all three skip the next stitch double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet and then repeat that arrow stitch again. So I'm going to go ahead and do another arrow stitch that will take me to the last chain one and we're going to do something slightly different right at the very end. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way up to that very last chain one space and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so once you've finished that last arrow stitch and that last repeat, you will have done the arrow stitch, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. We're now ready to do the backwards arrow stitch. So it's yarn over the hook twice into that chain one space just as we've done before. And then it's yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and then yarn over, pull through two. 
you'll skip the next stitch and then you just want to do a double crochet into the very last stitch which is the top of the chain three. Then if you go ahead and count all of your stitches across the top here, so these V's, you should have the same amount of stitches. So I have 19 stitches. From now on, it's just a two row repeat. So we're going to go back to row two and we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, turn the work, and then do a treble crochet into the next stitch and then each stitch all the way along. Remember that that chain three does class as a stitch. So you're going to go into that chain one space which you've just created from the last round and then into each and every stitch all the way along. So go ahead, pause the video, work those stitches and come back and I'll show you how to um, start your next row again with the repeat of row three. Okay, so I've just completed that row again. I'm going to chain one and then turn my work. I have counted my stitches to make sure I have the right amount of stitches. So remember that chain one for this row does not class as a stitch and we're going to do a double crochet into that first stitch and then we're going to do the front arrow stitch. So it's going to be slightly different in this uh, row just because our chain one is looking slightly different. So we're going to yarn over the hook twice. Here's the chain one. We want to go underneath that stitch from um, front to back and then back through to the front again. So yarn over, pull through. Remember this is the um, forward arrow stitch. So we're going to complete that double treble crochet. We'll do a double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet. We'll then repeat our arrow stitches. So yarn over the hook twice into that same chain one space that we've just worked into, but we don't quite complete that double treble. We then find the next chain one space, which is between the arrows just here. Yarn over the hook twice, go into that chain one space and complete that stitch by double trebling them together. We will skip a stitch, do a double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, and then continue with our arrow stitches. So you need to rewind the video if you need to in order to um, follow this pattern and what to do at the end, but you're basically going to repeat row two and row three. I'm going to go ahead and build a few more rows of this pattern so you can start to see what it looks like. Okay, so there we go. I've added a few more rows of that design. It just looks so effective. I just really like this. I think it'd be good for a number of projects. So don't forget, I'll leave a link in the description box of the written pattern. And also everything will be on that blog post for you. So if you want to come back to the video, then you can do. There'll also be a pinnable image um, and things like that. So go and check that out. Don't forget to like this video, share with all your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.